if it's the marketing team, they'll say AI, and if it's a practitioner, they'll say machine learning. <laughs> it's a bit of a kind of joke you hear sometimes, but so artificial intelligence, right, is just the general broad catch-all term for yeah computational stuff that appears intelligent or takes actions. And um, but that that can be as simple as rules-based systems as long as it appears to to take like decisions and stuff. Um, it's a very broad term, AI. Machine learning specifically is um, basically looks to take statistical methods and approaches to develop predictive models using large sets of data really that that whole fake it till you make it thing i don't think works as a manager i think you almost have to do it the other way around like pretend to be as dumb as possible be but ask all the questions and everyone will thank you for it in the long run because you'll all be on the same page and it'll be clear that fewer misunderstandings and so on and so forth. Nothing's more damaging than like misunderstandings and blame getting thrown about because nothing was really ever made concrete. You want your candidates to have the best chance possible because you, you like, I will do better in a talky interview than most people because I love the sound of my own voice and I, I talk a lot and I do a lot of public speaking, right? You don't want to then hire me because of that, because I was better in that talking interview than someone that's an absolute wizard with all the tools, but just can't communicate and struggles, right? If that person actually could be supported quite well in your organization, they're probably a better fit. So empower that individual versus someone like me or like a complete blagger that actually hasn't got the tech skills but knows how to talk their way around a manager which is the other danger do the stuff that isn't related to your work like listen and so so in my like previous role when i had quite a few reports i i forced like a 30 minute slot in the calendar every single direct what i've got one to one every week and i say to them Look, you don't have to attend this because weekly can be too much for some people but it's always there that is carved out both our calendars so that you know it's always there that's your time and actually there's no agenda it's up to you what you use that on and for some people we just talk about stuff like game of thrones and world of warcraft and all sorts like that isn't relevant for some people we talk about mental health struggles and like challenges around personal circumstances for some people we just talk about how they're going to career career progress or the work they're currently doing or how to solve things right but it's that gives them the ability to kind of use you as a manager and manage up the way you, that kind of servant leader thing i think is really important so i had a friend who doesn't work in tech actually asked me about how to run tech teams in his company um and he was like what processes do you use like what's agile blah blah blah, blah, blah. and i said look just ask them don't uh, don't don't go in top down and go right this is now the way we do things unless you're like very very good at a certain process and like you have something that always works and it's the best um you're almost always better off asking the team what do they like like what do you want to do because if you can give them the autonomy within confines and say right well i'm going to give you requirements and you're going to give me outputs do what you like in the box in the middle as long as you're ticking the, the boxes and hitting your numbers then you've got freedom that empowers them and enables them to do it going in and go right by the way now we do scrum and you've got all these meetings in and we're going to do it like this and you're going to run it blah 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 usually causes a bit of upset or you'll find that like maybe there's only one person in the team that likes that and everyone else would prefer doing it a slightly different way and so on and so forth so yeah force feeding kind of ways of working and expecting people to just do stuff a certain way without really telling them or giving them room to move Given my my mentor he used to have mise en place in his um, calendar every day at like seven o'clock or something. And I love that. So if you're not familiar, mise en place is the idea in a kitchen that chefs cut and prepare all the stuff, like everything's chopped up and prepared and put in dishes in a place before they start cooking. So that when they're, it's like you ever watch most cookery shows, they're not chopping everything fresh, they're not grinding all the garlic and peeling garlic whilst they're talking to you. It's just there and ready. And that's true of like, proper kitchens and I love the idea he did it mise en place but for the business so he would make sure he would look at his day what he had to do get all the right documents on his desktop and so on and so forth and it just meant things ran a bit smoother and I love that I don't do that but I love the idea that if that works for you try those kind of things and just yeah because every second counts right I think when it comes to running a new business.